Hey guys, just thought I'd show you uh, what I do to practice my CSing. Um, very, very important thing to, to practice doing, even without doing a regular summons riff, uh, I think, because um, it's a very crucial thing to the game in, or, in order to um, sustain yourself even when you're losing. And I know how difficult it is when you're getting harassed and stuff like that. Um, but this is just a basic um, uh, thing to do in order just to practice um, knowing how how low you can get the minions before actually needing to, to, to basically attack them. So we're going to start off with do a custom game. Okay, now there are a few rules um, with this idea. No minion, uh, no no um, uh, bots to start off with because it just makes it easier. Um, just to do it. You can add a, add, add a bot later on if you want a little bit more of a challenge, whatever. Um, you're not allowed to push a tower. Okay, so you're not allowed, you're allowed to push minions onto a tower, but you're not allowed to actually hit the tower up yourself um, because we don't want the wave to be pushing onto the next tower. Uh, and the reason for that is because you're going to be doing this for 10 minutes. Um, and it's all about just basic attacking. And so we're not going to be wanting to upgrade any items, so we're not allowed to, to go back as well. Otherwise, you can just get yourself a BF sword, and then CSing is just a breeze from there. Um, you're not allowed to hit up any jungle camps, so you're not allowed to get any extra minion kills, or well, you know, jungle minion kills as well. And so in that 10 minutes time, you should be able to get 101 minions. Uh, it's actually more like 9 minutes 45 because it, the next wave will be there and if you've got super wave clearing ability uh, like something like a, I don't know, a fed Nivea, whatever, uh, you'll be able to kill one more wave and that won't be fair to other characters that can't push that quick. So basically if you get to 9 minutes 45 just stop and see how many minions you've got. You can keep going if you want after that but uh, it's... You know, you're starting to get yourself more fed and your uh, your abilities are getting more damage as they are anyway. So just leave it at 9 minutes 45 because it's all about uh, basic attacking from the very start um, you know, of the game. Because once we start getting items, obviously CS becomes a lot easier. Um, cool, and so we're just going to pick whatever character. I'm just going to go Caitlyn. I'm on the case. Because I love her. She's my bitch. Uh, we also want to make sure we go the same runes and masteries that we'd normally go in our uh, Summoner's Rift. And same spells, whatever. Don't get smite, something stupid like that, unless you want to go practice jungling, whatever. I don't know. Um, okay, so there's one more thing um, just about getting out of the um, altar, getting off the altar quickly. Now, a lot of, a lot of the pros, you watch the games and, and you see them out of the gates all together as a group uh, and they've all bought their items. So what they're actually doing is they're actually moving out of the altar area before they start buying their items. So I'll show you how, how I do that. Basically you want to have your, your key bound, your shop key bound which is I think default P, defaulted to P so you can press P and you can have up your, your, your shop. Now sometimes it'll come up with your recommended items and sometimes it will come up with all items. So I also have the button next to P which is the, the bracket, the square bracket, um, set to switch between those two, uh, those two shops so that I can switch back to my recommended and just go bye bye bye. And yeah, and then we can get out of the gates and get moving. So let's crack into it and I'll show you how I do my practice. I need a skin for Caitlyn. That one's pretty cool. I thought I was going to buy that, but it was MF. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to load pretty damn quick, obviously. So just be ready, press P, start moving, and switch and buy all the items you need to buy before you. Um, get out of the gates. So I was out of the gates, I think it might have been about four or five seconds. Something like Wanna that, I didn't look. Trick? And that allows us to then get into position to, you know, oops, that's the thing I wanted, to, to do some um, 
you know, steel or some Me? steel Miss? blue buff and that kind of shit. Not by Welcome shot. to Summoner's Rift. Um, Decision. okay, so I'll just chop that a little bit and out because we don't need to wait for that. Hot on the train. Alright, so we're going to start off, we're just going to only basic attack. Uh, sorry, only basic attack. We're only going to last hit. Because obviously you don't want to spam your um, abilities and waste all your mana. We also want to try and control whereabouts the lane sits. It's a very important thing to do because if you're getting shoved onto your turret all the time, uh, it's not very fun and sometimes you just have to deal with it. And so the idea is to basically even up the amount of minions that you've got. This is actually going to shove. Not in my favour because obviously there's nothing to shove it back. There's nothing much I can do about it except... Oh, I missed a minion. Except leave it to die to the turret. Now, we're not allowed to go inside the turret uh, you know, to, to kill um, the turret. We're allowed to go inside it in order to base attack. But I think you want to try and also practice... Uh, where you want to make the minions stay, so I'm going to let it sort of try and push back out. And this is going to push back towards me because there's a, ca uh, a cannon minion a who's going to kill these dudes a lot quicker. And also the waves pushing in. So it's going to shove back down to the middle again. And if I leave it, I'll try and leave it and get it to push right back as far as I can position it somewhere here if I can, if I'm good enough. Oh! God damn. Okay, I got my headshot. I have the tools for the job. Okay, so it's now gonna shove in towards me. I don't want it to be sitting there we go. We don't want it to be sitting don't too close, back otherwise back. the turret's gonna start hitting it and that's just another skill set in itself. Just to learn how to do that. So you do get the minions like this guy here is just run forward. If, if I was too close, he would have run forward to the cast minions who'd be sitting. Oh shit, I missed that one. Who'd be sitting underneath the turret. So now I'm gonna shove too hard on me, so I'm gonna start wave. Oops, missed that one. Boom. Headshot. That's fine, just leave it there. Oops, missed that one. So if you can kind of keep an eye on your minions as well, it's a very handy idea. One, because you want to see if they've got the same amount of minions. So I've now got the equal amount of minions. And this guy's going to die just after... Oh, bugger. Just after mine does. And now I still have the same amount of minions and it's going to stay exactly where it is. That's what freezing the lane is all about. Oops, I missed another minion. Ah, no, and another one. It's going to happen. It's actually not as easy as you think it might be, even in this. I'd like to see if someone can actually get 101 or come not close enough yet. I've got 89. Ah, oh, far out. 89 is my best score. Oh, and the other reason that you want to watch your minions is because you want to see where the cast of minions are shoot. Ooh, that. Oh, that was close. I must miss that one. Um, because, like, see, they're all hitting him now, or two of them are, and so you kind of can judge sort of when to, to go it. Down. And then sometimes they get all going to be hitting the same one like this one, and that they're harder to get, and I just screwed that one. So you can kind of see, and then you can hit them before, because your shots are going to be much faster than theirs are, obviously. Minions spawn every 30 seconds on the minute or the 30 second mark and they get to your lane 30 seconds later. Okay, so we're at 9.45 now and I've got a score of 8, uh, 84. And so we're not allowed to kill the next wave and I'll show you why because if I try and kill this as quickly as I can, it's going to run out of time and it's just not fair. So 84, it's not my best score, but whatever. And so that's about it. And then you just write down your score and keep an eye on it for next time and try and improve on it. So there you go.
Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.